Hey fellow Vault Winners, it's Angry Tartu and I'm coming back with another video and this time it's a Stealth Archer and it's a full health build. Because I hear you guys, you ask me a lot about doing some full health build and since we have this uh, Chinese Stealth suit, then I can actually attempt to do a full health build. And those super mutants are trying to destroy my camp actually. And I need to get rid of them. Yep, so far so good. What I hit? I think I hit car. Yeah, hitting, hitting something with a bow actually requires some practice. It's not as easy as it looks like sometimes. There's a little bit of a delay and the travel time on those bows. And I will better stop losing them. I want my, my arrows back. Give me my ultra sight arrows back, guys. Yeah, you not always get your arrow back, but quite often you do. And I decided to go for the ultra sight arrows as this is like the best damage. Uh, explosives are pretty cool, but I want to have this stealthy feeling on this archer build. And a lot of explosions, it's not really like a stealthy feeling when you play it. What are you looking for, guys? The super mutants are looking for something. I will help them. Where are my arrows? No arrows. But as you can see, you can easily one-shot those super mutants with arrows and the fire rate isn't bad. At some point, maybe I will do comparison, like in practice, like I like to do with other weapons and where the bow actually ends up in such a comparison. But at this moment, let's try it on some other enemies. Generally, I wanted this build to be more like a VATS centric, but as generally VATS is kind of broken at this moment and quite often missing, then I went for manual aiming and I'm just trying to improve my skills. But sometimes you can hit in VATS, let's see if I can. Yeah, if you get your arrow ready and then VATS something, then usually it works. But if you press VATS too early, then quite often it will miss. Um, without VATS I can miss quite a lot of arrows, that's not good. Okay, let's see if I can VATS this Scorch Beast on a torso. Yep, quite well. Critical? Uh, critical didn't do much <laughs> with this arrow, but yep. Yeah, it's hitting sometimes. At least with a torso, if you don't press your VATS to... Yeah, if I free aim, it's look that... It works better if I use the aim button, get arrow ready, then press VATS, and it's looked to work quite well this way. Uh, don't don't attack me with this poison scorch beast. We don't like that. Let's see again. VATS? No, it's miss. Yes, yeah, so you can see sometimes the VATS just refuse to cooperate. Then let's try to just hit her like that. Can I get your head? Oh, I totally missed. And I'm in danger now. We can do it. The stealth suit provides some armor. One more. Let me shoot one more. Got it. Now let's try this escape artist. Yes, it's working. I'm back into hidden. And I hit in VATS. Yes, you can see the VATS is not very reliable. There are some problems with stealth as well but not as, as many as with VATS. And the bow is sometimes getting stuck in this aim position even if I release the aim, but I don't know exactly what's causing that. It's not a big issue, just uh, press, for a, press a fire button for a short moment and it will unlock itself. Now let's shoot as well one Super Mutant Behemoth, as Captain Noob is not uploading too much and this Behemoth wasn't killed for quite a while, then I'm going to kill him now with a bow and let's see how well it will go. And if VATS will get fixed, this build can actually be awesome in VATS and that was my first idea to do it in VATS because the arrows are a little bit slower than if I will get it to work in VATS, they will follow the target probably like a messiah, but this moment, yeah, it's doing not bad damage. By the way, my bow is a legendary instigating. I will show you everything in a second. It's not bad. Headshot is doing like 1k damage. 
and I don't have Mr. Sandman to do more damage during the night. And what Bethesda clarified already, Mr. Sandman works from 6 till 6, then it's not affected by the lighting, it's affected by the hours, then there was no nerf to Mr. Sandman with the recent update when the day-night time cycle was adjusted. And yeah, you can kill him, it's definitely not the high DPS weapon. Now more into the details about the build and the weapon itself. At this moment I'm using this instigating bow, as you can see it's for VATS, 33% VATS hit chance. But it's not helping too much, sometimes I can keep missing in a row, couple times with 95% hit chance and aiming for a torso. That's a little bit unfortunate, but it will improve my aim. I am forced to actually aim by myself. And Ultrasight Arrows is the modification and Glow Sight for accuracy. About apparel, I'm using high capacity backpack because the penalty that reduced rat resistance absolutely doesn't matter if you are using a Chinese stealth suit. Chinese stealth suit will stop all the rats regardless. I can show you stats for a second. 940 rat resistance plus 99% rat reduction, then that stops about everything. Next, I'm wearing minor helmet because I can use nice, nice flashlight from it when I need. I have sunglasses and to prevent airborne diseases, I have Veil of Secrets. It works as a gas mask. Now about my mutations, I'm running Adrenal Reaction because I'm mainly a low health build on this character, but at this moment I play full health build. A little bit of lost HP, it's not a problem. And I get this extra damage whenever I'm losing HP, as obviously no one will be healing whenever you lose like a couple points from your HP bar. There's bird bones, that's very important, extra agility, you want this for stealth even more as you are not using unyielding armor, then agility is your highest boost to your stealthiness. Carnivore to eat more meat, chameleon, because why not, eagle eyes, yeah, I was planning to use it in VATS much more, it's giving me perception in here. Egghead to get more experience from my adventures, marsupial, yeah, everyone wants this high jump and carry weight, and speed demon, it's basically to move faster and there is no reload speed on bows. Then in case of bow, you can have it, but it's not mandatory. You can pretty much play without it. If you are full health build, you will just move a little bit slower. Now into the perks and as always, the build will be linked into the description of the video. Then just open the description. You will find a link to the build. I'm running traveling pharmacy because I have just one strength and I'm carrying some camps, then that's helpful. All new perks for Archer. Then there is Archer, be Bow Before Me, Expert Archer and Master Archer. That's what you want. And then three perks. Normally it will be concentrated fire in here, but as it's not working, then I have perks for farming, Fortune Fighter, Panapictographist and Perceptive Bubble. That's helpful actually. I found already a lot of locations that I had no idea, new locations when you can find bobbleheads and magazines. Fireproof, that's to prevent you from taking any damage from Sonic Scream of Scorch Beast. Then there is Travel Agent to save some caps and Friendly Fire, that's because the new event requires you occasionally to heal friendly NPCs. If you missed my video when I was talking about healing friendly NPCs, you need Shish Kebab. I'm carrying this one, it's just a zealot, but as with a bow, I mainly fulfill a support role during the radiation rumble event, then I'm just running around because it's a hazmat, then I can run around in high radiation, collect the ore, and when I'm going back to deposit the ore, I check NPC if any of those is injured, I will heal it with my shish kebab and friendly fire. And when I'm trading, I swap it for hard bargain, obviously. Then under intelligence, there is a couple options here. Really. You can run with Gunsmith if you don't want to fix your bow too often. I prefer to have Hacker permanently equipped. If one rank in first aid, if I need to heal, those stems are a little bit more effective. And I'm running with Scrapper. Whatever I pick up, I'm farming my steel this way. Then under Agility, I'm carrying a lot of food recently and I'm milking all the Brahmins. Then I need this through Hacker. I figure out that Brahmin milk is perfect for me because after this update, there is so many Brahmins everywhere that I have 
a lot of milk on demand and milk heal me, remove my rats, fill up my food bar and fill up my water bar. It's all in one. It's why I like it so much. Everything in one. Then covert operative, deal more damage from those snakes. Escape artists, if you get detected, you just sprint couple steps and back to hidden. Adrenaline, obviously for damage. And sneak, uh, it's not like mandatory. You can try to run a stealth armor without sneak perk, but it's definitely improve your stealthiness and you can get closer to enemies without, without them detecting you if you have the sneak perk equipped. It does stack with Chinese stealth armor. It's useful. Then under luck, as normally it's supposed to be a crit focus, VATS build, then I have a lot of luck. At this moment, I replace some of the perks, then I'm running class freak, star jeans, good with salt to keep this Brahmin milk fresh forever, a bloody mess to increase my damage, and ricochet if some blind fire from mobs will actually be going to hit me, it will be deflected, and in the same time, I will save my stealth suit for longer, it will not be losing durability from the bullets that are deflected. And it's quite fragile because it's a hazmat suit, and this is useful for both fixing less often my hazmat and reducing damage I'm taking if I under fire for whatever reason. Other than that, if I will be running, if the crits will be fixed, what I want to be running is critical savvy to get more of those criticals and most likely four leaf clover. I was thinking to run critical savvy with four leaf clover to have a lot of criticals with full health build. Because as you know, with full health build and with hazmat, you cannot really boost your luck so high like with unyielding and with unyielding you just can equip critical savvy and every second shot will be a critical without unyielding armor i want to run critical savvy and four leaf clover all together and that is everything about this build i hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions please don't hesitate to go into the comment section and i will see what i can do about them and as always thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one